ऐ मसीहा नफस ऐ महे दिल बरा ऐ मसीहा नफस ऐ महे दिल बरा तख्त मेहदी के वारिस इमाम जमा तख्त मेहदी के वारिस इमाम जमा सैयदी मुशफिकी मुर्शिदी मेहरबा Islam bagi masyarakat Eropa dan pusat untuk kegiatan-kegiatan dialog antar agama. Dakwah Islam di wilayah Inggris yang dilancarkan oleh jemaat Ahmadiyah tidak hanya diarahkan kepada masyarakat biasa di Inggris, akan tetapi juga kepada masyarakat Inggris lainnya dari berbagai kalangan, baik kepada kalangan bisnismen atau pengusaha. Kepada para wakil rakyat di parlemen hingga kepada para pejabat pemerintahan baik pemerintahan tingkat lokal maupun pejabat pemerintahan level nasional. Banyak kalangan termasuk dari kalangan pejabat di parlemen maupun di pemerintahan Inggris yang mendapatkan kesan positif tentang ajaran Islam yang diperkenalkan oleh jemaat Ahmadiyah. Two of them have become my dear Ahmadi friends, Dr. Yahya Hassan Bajwa and Fida Hussein Baraj in Switzerland. The picture and the experience of Islam I have got through my Ahmadi friends is needed to put before the whole world, especially. This feeling I got also in the talk I had recently at the mosque on the topic Islam and human rights. The world should at least have a closer look with tolerance and exchange, exchange ideas with the Ahmadis if they really want to show the spiritual face of Islam to the world. For me, it's very encouraging for me that Jamaat members are motivated to help the suffering mankind, also being persecuted, some of it in their own countries. I believe that your presence here in our region with all of the international guests that you have brought here today, with the international community that is watching through your own television channel, I believe this has a supreme value to humanity. I work in the European Parliament. I am a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee and a member of the newly formed Human Rights Subcommittee and also we work on defence and uh, cooperation. Yet I believe and I can see and I can feel today that the values that you, Your Holiness, and your membership exemplify and implement are those very same values that the European Union and the European Parliament try to implement every day. The values that stir me in the face now as I look at the bottom of the hall, love for all and hatred for none. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Uh, I faced a few large audiences. I don't think ever quite such a large audience as this. I am the mayor of Merton, and within Merton is Morden, and we have the most amazing new mosque in Morden, as many of you will know, and I dare say have, have visited. Uh, in Merton, like most London boroughs, we are very much a multicultural society and we are used to uh, engaging with a whole range of religions. Um, we are very, very happy with our friendship with the Ahmadiyya Muslims and like the previous speaker, one of my council colleagues, Mr. Tariq Ahmed, is uh, one of my close colleagues. Your Holiness, Mr. President, brothers and sisters, Salaam Alaikum. This is a fantastic feat of organization. No one's mentioned that, but to bring together such a large number of people to 
arrange the facilities in the marvelous way you have is virtually miraculous. I can't think of any other community who'd be capable of such feats of organization. And that talent, that skill, and that dedication which goes into the organization of the JALSA is evident in the work that you do, not only in your charities here in the United Kingdom, but also, as we've heard, everywhere else in the world. So I join in the congratulations that have been expressed already and our wishes to the whole of the Ahmadiyya community for a peaceful and successful second hundred years of their existence. Dari sekian banyak pejabat yang telah mendapatkan penerangan tentang agama Islam dari Jemaat Ahmadiyah, bahkan tidak sedikit dari antar mereka yang kemudian masuk ke dalam pangkuan agama Islam melalui Jemaat Ahmadiyah. Salah satunya adalah Tuan David Kalahan, Deputi Mayor Wilayah London Buru. Ia sangat terkesan oleh agama Islam dan kemudian masuk ke dalam pangkuan Islam melalui Jemaat Ahmadiyah. Inilah kisahnya bagaimana mula-mula beliau mengenal Islam dan kemudian masuk ke dalam pangkuan Islam. I became an Ahmadi in 1993, converting from the Church of England. At first I wasn't interested at all in Islam. It was around the time of the Ayatollah Khomeini and the controversy around Salman Rushdie and I wasn't attracted in any way but over time when she talked to me more about Islam and Ahmadiyyat I realized it was the right thing for me. I hope to continue serving the community for many years to come. We have qualities that exist in very brother, brother and sister but I also have a much bigger family all of you, my brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum. Dakwah Islam yang dilancarkan oleh Jemaat Ahmadiyah di daratan Eropa gemaknya terus berkumandang seakan-akan mengingatkan kepada umat Islam bahwa masa datangnya kebangkitan Islam kedua kali di akhir zaman akan segera tiba. قد أقامت دينا شرعا للذي يبغي الجنان نفس أي مهد البرا تخت مهدي كوارس إمام الزما تخت مهدي كوارس إمام الزما سيدي مشفقي Sementara itu di negara Jerman, progres dakwah Islam oleh Jemaat Ahmadiyah juga berkembang sangat besar. Masjid-masjid Islam berhasil dibangun dan didirikan oleh Jemaat Ahmadiyah hampir di bahkan pada tahun 2008 yang lalu. Jemaat Ahmadiyah berhasil meresmikan Masjid Islam pertama di kota Berlin, sebuah kota komunis di bekas Jerman Timur yang mayoritas masyarakatnya sangat menaruh antipati kepada agama Islam dan masyarakat kota Berlin memberikan izin kepada Jemaat Ahmadiyah untuk meneruskan pendirian masjid ini setelah mereka mendengarkan penjelasan tentang agama Islam yang diberikan oleh Jemaat Ahmadiyah. This mosque we have built has not been made for any jihadi organization or any terrorist activity, but it has been built simply for the worshiping worship of Allah. Hal ini membuktikan bahwa agama Islam yang diperkenalkan oleh Jemaat Ahmadiyah kepada masyarakat Jerman adalah agama Islam yang sesungguhnya sebagaimana yang diajarkan oleh Nabi Muhammad SAW, yaitu agama yang penuh dengan cinta kasih dan kedamaian yang tidak menimbulkan kekhawatiran bagi siapapun. Inilah masjid yang dibangun oleh Jemaat Ahmadiyah di kota Berlin. Masjid yang cukup megah ini diberi nama Masjid Hadijah.